Hello, everyone. I never thought I would be one of the people writing here, but I guess there's the first for everything. I've been going through some family issues recently and would appreciate it if I can get your opinions and suggestions on it. So, I'm 27, I'm female, and I just found out that my relatives built a house on my land without informing me. Yeah, my land. So every year I visit my hometown on my mom's death anniversary just to visit her grave. It's a bittersweet ritual, but I've had to do it since it's the only way that I can be near her. Every time I go back, I avoid going to the house I grew up in because it just has too many memories of me with my mom. It's been my no-go zone, a place where the past is too present, you say. This year, something felt different, though. This time, I decided to visit it. I just thought it's time to face it, and I thought I've already accepted what happened and considered myself strong enough. I pull up and there it was, a shiny new fence surrounding my property and a gate taller than my tallest uncle. Two newly built houses, not one but two, were squatting there. Who on earth would build houses on a land that they don't even own? You know my late mother and all her property, including the land where my relatives built their house. I mean, I think that I would get it if they asked permission or even just told me that they already built the house, but no, they didn't even bother mentioning it to me, not even once. I could not enter my own property because the gate was locked. Believe me when I say I tried breaking the lock with my bare hands because who carries a bolt cutter these days? So I did what any sane person would do. I climbed over the fence. And you don't know how happy I am to know that the tree I used to climb was still there right next to their fence. Of course, my climbing skills were not as good as before, so I got small cuts all over my hands. Anyways, once I entered the property, I skillfully looked for the owners, but I did it quietly to not alert them, of course. And there they were, my dear relatives, doing their siesta in their new backyard, which, by the way, is my backyard. They're grilling barbecue, drinking beers, laughing it up, and just enjoying their time like they didn't just, I don't know, steal someone's property under my nose. I could not fathom what happened, because why the hell did my aunt and cousin build their house on my property? I'm standing there, my jaws clenched, fist itching to knock all of them out. Why? Why would my aunt and cousins do this? Did they think I would not notice, or maybe they figured I would just shrug it off and let them be? Before I could even open my mouth, they noticed me and asked how I was able to enter their home. The audacity of these people. Their house. How dare they? How come it's theirs when I have all the papers to prove that this property is mine? Then, all of a sudden, they get so angry and tell me to get out. I clear my throat, ready to argue with them, but they just looked at me like I lost my darn mind. I asked why there were houses on my property because I'm the rightful owner and no one informed me about the construction. Yeah, you left it all alone. Finders keepers, losers weepers, as if it were a kindergarten and they called dibs on the swing set. Because of my frustration, I may have swept whatever was on their table. Plates and beers went flying. Everybody was shocked, including me because of what I did. You know their response. They threatened me that if I did not immediately exit the property, they would call the authorities, like I was the one who was trespassing. I left them and went to my mom's house. I don't know what was going on in my mind, but I wanted to stay after years of avoiding it. This was what welcomed me. Fortunately, they had not changed much in this house, because if they had, only God knows what I would have done to them. Not long after, the officers arrived and even dragged me out, because I resisted and tried to explain that the property was mine and that my relatives were the ones who needed to be arrested. They simply did not believe me. Of course, who would? Would they believe someone who just, they just now saw? Or people who were born and grew up there before my relatives disappeared from my line of sight? As I was being dragged away, they shouted that if I come back, they would have a file restraining order. They even had the audacity to say, I hope it doesn't come to that. Well, guess what? So do I. I hate him. I'm so frustrated because not only did I not have anywhere else to stay, but also I was banned from my own property. 
So I ended up looking for a hotel to stay at. About the officers, well, they just requested to escort me out and did not file any reports. Anyways, looking for a place to stay was not too hard. Fortunately, it's a cold end to a day that burned me in ways I can never imagine. But this is not the end. Okay, let me give a little background. My aunt, let's call her Aunt Karen because it's fitting, is my mom's younger sister. She was living with us along with her children, let's call them Toby and Isabella, ever since their father passed. The house they were living in was sold to pay for the hospital bills of uncle, so they had to move into our house, and we were living in our extra rooms. Aunt Karen had no job and did not want to look for one, so mom, being the angel that she was, had to provide for them to help them survive. Not only did mom feed them, but mom also funded my cousin's education. The good thing is money was not a problem for mom since she was earning more than enough for most of us. However, a decade later, Aunt Karen and her children were still living with us, even though my cousins already graduated and had decent jobs. Don't get me wrong, that's not a problem for me. I just thought at the time they were already capable of buying their own houses, but were still leeching off of mom. Anyways, mother was diagnosed with cancer. That's where I started having beef with my relatives, because even though mom basically kept them alive, they seldom helped in taking care of mom, and it was just so darn frustrating. They barely lifted a finger to help, and that stung, I'm not going to lie. Let's fast forward a few months and cancer took my mom away from me way too soon. She was diagnosed way too late, so it's expected that she did not have a lot of time, but I was still not expecting it to be this soon. Um, that's why mom passing is very hard to accept. I was not prepared at all. After mother was buried, I immediately bought a house far from my hometown. Fortunately, I had a high-paying job so I could afford to move out. I did this to help myself move on and just accept what actually happened. Anyways, guys, after moving out, Aunt May and her family never reached out to me unless I reached out to them first. Yeah, I know it sucked, but we never really got along, and I wasn't able to confront them about taking care of mom when she was sick. Well, before I left, I told them to please move out of the house before the whole year ends. I figured that's enough time to save up money to mortgage or buy a house or whatever they had to do. But guys, did they ever listen? Well, I thought they did because our last conversation was them just updating me that they now have a house, which was nothing more than another lie. Going back the next day, I went back to my property, and like before, my relatives were not answering my calls. But this time I was carrying a bolt cutter, so I was forced to break the locks, and I successfully entered my property and immediately looked for them. What they did was not okay, and I will not just stand and let them be. I found them and immediately told them that I would sue them. And you know what they did? They just laughed it off like I'm sharing a knock-knock joke, telling me that if I did not immediately exit their property, I might have to see the authorities again and I was mad. I could barely see straight. I was angry. I told them that they had no right at all to build a house on my property and a land that they don't own in my land after neglecting my mother. And you know what? This is what they did. They didn't even ask how I was after mom passed. And they told me, you left it so it's ours now, yours, as if you can just call dibs on a land, like it's the last slice of pizza. They really argued about how now it's their land because I left the property completely unattended for so long that it's now theirs. Come on, guys, how logical is that? Anyways, I just left because there's no point in arguing with the logical people. They'll never understand me. And do you know what they can understand? A police report. I texted them that I would file a police report if they did not move out. And guess what? In less than a minute, they were bombarding me with calls and messages, and you know it serves them right. Of course, I did not respond to them. They don't really deserve it. But now I'm writing this, which was, I don't know, a few hours later after my threatening text to them. I'm receiving tons of notifications and messages from unknown people on my social media accounts. In normal circumstances, I don't read their messages, 
but too many people at the same time are very suspicious. I don't know why, but I'm afraid to open it. Um, but I have this hunch that it is connected to my land grabbing relatives. So I want to ask you this. Am I the a hole for threatening to report them to the police? I mean, I think they have every right to do it, but I just want to hear your thoughts and opinions. Also, do you guys have any suggestions on how I can make them move out? Uh, thanks ahead of time. Update number one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hello again, everyone. I honestly did not expect such crazy engagement on my story. Thank you so much for all the kind and good words and support and whatnot. To that comment about me being selfish, I get where you're coming from. Finally getting a place to call your own is no small feat. Congratulations, by the way. It's a big deal and it's something to be proud of. But there's a thing. Sure, I'm not using the land right now, but that doesn't mean I don't have plans to. Also, they didn't ask or even give me a heads up. They just took it upon themselves to build on it, and it's not cool no matter how you slice it up. And if you've read the whole post, I've mentioned that if they had mentioned it even once, I might let it slide. But no, they decided to lie. So yeah, I'm fighting to get it back, not because I want to keep it all to my lonesome, but because it's mine to decide what to do with, and who knows, maybe in the future. I'll do something with it that can help others who have been in a tough spot like you and I, but for now, I've got to sort out this mess. I hope this clears things up a bit. Moving on, I finally had the courage to look through the quote suspicious activities on my social media account. To my horror, I received tons of negative messages and threats, and I didn't even know what they were talking about. So I looked at the profile and saw their activities, and there it was, plain as day, posting of my oh-so-loving relative. Apparently, a post of theirs went viral, pretty local. They told their audience that I claimed to own the land they just built their houses in, and I was kicking them out. My relatives even claimed that the land was actually left to them by their aunt, aka my mom, telling them that I had no right to sue and kick them out. And that's why I've been receiving tons of notifications from strangers telling me how evil of a person I am. I could not help but read every single message I received. They even came to a point where they threatened my life. I don't know what to do. I'm scared to go out, fearing for my life. What if someone was already waiting for me outside my home? What if someone hit me with her car while I was walking on the sidewalk? There's so many possibilities that'll just not ruin my life, but also end it. Is this how people are these days, believing every little word they see on social network even if they don't know it's true? I bet that's this was my cousin's plan all along. Is there a way of ruining me? I guess how well of them. Do you think I'll withdraw my decision to file a report against them? Heck to the no. So I called them this morning. I demanded they take down the post because I would report them for defamation. But they didn't believe me. Their mistake. They even mocked me and told me that if I did not withdraw my report, they would continue to post about me online. Well, if they were not going to get out of my property through casual convo, then I'll forcefully kick them out. If they stoop low, I'll stoop lower. Update number two. Hello, everyone. It's been two days since the last time I posted, and I'm happy to tell you all that I paid someone to kick them out. Two days have passed since I confronted my relatives. I couldn't just sit and wait for a miracle to happen. Also, I don't want the reason for the threats to stop because I finally gave in and let them live on the property. No, no, I will not allow that. So I hired men to do what I wanted, and I don't care about the consequences I'll get. I have the money to pay for the fines, so a day after the confrontation, my plan began. Even before the sun arose, I, along with my men, quote, trespassed my property. I told them to put my relatives' furniture, clothes, and anything that they own outside of the house. And well, do it quietly and make sure that you don't wake them up. This was only the beginning. I could already see the sun when I heard Aunt Karen scream as she was looking at things being moved out. She stood there, disheveled and wide-eyed while clutching her bathrobe. I almost felt sorry for her. Almost. She screamed at the people I hired to get their hands off of our things, 
pointing her trembling finger at the men who were hauling a sofa across the grass. Toby and Isabella, half asleep, came to Aunt Karen, and I could still remember how their expression shifted from confusion to rage as they saw their belongings being straight up discarded. I immediately called back the men I hired and told them to go, because two people can't possibly forcefully kick three people out of a house. As they drove away, I turned to face my relatives. I told them that I did not want to escalate things, but they have pushed me too far. Then I told them that if they don't move out by tomorrow, not only their things will be outside, but I also told them that I didn't want them to be physically hurt, but if they didn't willingly move out, I would not be responsible for what happens next. This time, I thought they would finally listen to me. Instead, their antics on social media just heightened. Those people really went overboard this time, guys. Toby had forged documents that were supporting their claims regarding the property, and they even posted it to show their newly found fans that they were the rightful owners. I really can't be with these people. I mean, how far can they go? I thought tomorrow the sun would rise again and the battle from my home would continue. And so this morning I want to forcefully kick them out, as I couldn't take it anymore. I'd reached my limit. I hired more men who could accompany me, and when we got to that house, most of the things that we moved were still there, except the necessary things that they use, which is weird, by the way. And so I shouted at the top of my lungs for their names like never before, but there was absolutely no answer, no sign of life. And we scoured every room, every nook and cranny, but found nothing, not even a soul in sight. Had I succeeded? Had they finally heeded my warning? Did they finally leave? A part of me hoped so, yet another part feared their unexpected absence, and I needed closure, a guarantee that they would never return. And I was thinking of many ways how to prevent them from returning, but only one was sticking with me, destroy their house. While I was scrolling through my notifications from strangers, I couldn't help but ponder on the idea. I mean, could I really do it? The thought was both liberating and terrifying, and then I noticed a familiar name, a girl with my cousin's surname. I opened it up, and guess what? She said, please reply to me ASAP. Let's talk. Is this Toby's wife? Should I reply to her? I don't know what to do. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Update number three. Oh boy, things have escalated. I bulldozed over their home. That's right. I'm so tired of their antics. Remembering what I told you, that I found the house with no one inside. Well, they really did not come back two days after, but they were still pestering me through social media. A lot of you are saying that I should just refute their claims, but I don't want that. I don't need to prove myself to others. It's just that I'm getting irritated by their lies and by the messages I've been getting from their fans. It's just so tiring. This morning, as I stood outside their house silently, I could not help but think that I did the right thing. But I knew it had to be done. I would not be swayed by fear. And so I watched as their house slowly crumbled to pieces. Before the houses were completely destroyed, my phone rang. An unknown number was calling me, so I even ignored it at first. But it kept on calling me, so I decided to answer it. It was Toby's wife. Before I even finish telling her that I would hang up on the phone, she tells me that she needs to tell me something oh so important. Then she asked me what the noise in my background was, so I told her the truth. To my shock, her reply was something I did not expect. Toby's wife, her voice trembling through the phone, oh no, I was too late. Too late for what? I'm like, what the hell does that even mean? How she finally felt the guilt of her wrongdoings? Maybe. Then she proceeds to tell me the most horrible story I could ever fathom. Apparently, she really believed her, uh, the husband, that the land was theirs because she thought that what they were doing was right. She did not question her husband because she trusted him, so she did what her husband said. Now they're planning to sue me, and I actually kicked them out without proper legal notice. And if they succeeded, they would share it on social media that I was finally CAU. They'll paint me as a villain, the liar who stole their rightful land. 
I cannot believe what she said. Is it that much? I mean, before ending the call, she said sorry and that she could not bear the lies anymore. That's why she warned me, and she said sorry if she knew any sooner. Ah, well, I would not have come this far. I felt fear as I watched the ruins of whatever was left of their house. I mean, is it possible to sue me for destroying a house illegally built on my land? She had warned me, but was it enough? I've already done the damage. Can somebody give me legal advice on this? I would really appreciate it. Anyways, whatever happens, I assure you that I will not back down. I'm ready to face anything that comes to me, and I will get what is rightfully mine. Update number four. Hey guys, I'm back. Months have gone by and I don't know how I survived it, but there's another update here, hopefully the last. So after I bulldozed their house, I went back to my home. Finally, after some days, I can finally sleep in the house I grew up in. If you're asking what my cousin's houses were, well, here it is. Of course, before I destroyed the house, I made sure that there was not a single thing left in there. I'm not evil. I ordered men to put their things in my garage and basement, which is thankfully big enough for all their belongings. And guess what? I even found most of my mother's jewelry. How did I know it was my mom's? Well, mom likes to put her initials on all of her stuff. They not only stole my land, but also my mother's jewelry. I swear they're beyond help. The ruins of their home will still be there. I don't want to clean it in the meantime, so when they come back, they can see it with their own eyes. And this is what they get for crossing me. Anyways, a few days after their house was destroyed, they came back, but they did not expect that I would destroy their home. When I heard screaming outside my house, I saw Aunt Karen with Isabel, while Toby was red with anger. Toby tried to enter my house, but I didn't let him. I'm scared for my safety, not going to lie. I heard them cursing me from outside that they would make me pay. So a week later, I received a letter saying that I needed to appear before a judge because my relatives complained about how I harmed them. Lol, they sued me, but I was prepared. The day of the summonings came, and I could see my relatives smirking, thinking they could win this. All I could think of was how stupid are they. After a series of visits to the courtroom, the final verdict came in. Do you know what they were smirking about after all? Well, they were talking about this thing called squatter rights, where they told them that they were residing in my land property for a long time, so it's theirs now. Well, too bad for them because I have all the documents that proved my ownership, the documents of the trust fund my mother left me, and the taxes I've paid every year. Technically, I did not abandon my property. It's right here. Also, they did not pay a single cent for the land taxes. Not only that, but they also sued me for bulldozing their houses, and I do um, I did not one bit regret what I did, but it cost me some money because I did everything on my own. I did not opt for legal procedures and did not give them legal notice. I ended up paying for damages, but in the end, I think justice tipped in my favor. My relatives were ordered to pay fines for their transgression, squatting, defamation, and threats. But how could they? They had used all their money on the house that they built on my land. I have money so I can pay for whatever they need. What I paid them for was much less than what they owed me, so their assets were seized one by one, leaving them with nothing but a handful of regret. Not only that, but they ended up getting a jail sentence. Serves them right. As I walked out of that courthouse, I could not help but smile, feeling a mix of relief and exhaustion. Finally, justice is served. Well, I know this isn't over, but for now I will rest, gather my strength and prepare for the days that are going to come. Final update, update number five. Hey guys, I didn't think I was going to update, but it's been a year, a long year here, and I hope you still remember me. I just want to update you all since I just heard my relatives recently completed their prison sentence half a month ago. Well, I want to inform you guys about what's been going on in my life. Me? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm currently in a relationship and we're actually planning to move back to my hometown. I'm excited. Regarding the state of my property back there, well, 
It's been rid of the remnants of my toxic relatives. I made my garden big and built a huge pool to hide their betrayal, and I'm actually happy with the result. My house is currently cottage core themed, and I hope you can imagine how it looks. Too bad I can't share photos of it because of my safety. Anyways, months after my relatives' imprisonment, news of it reached their fans, and many of them apologized to me. Their then supporters became their haters because they called them out for lying and fooling them. Well, they're stupid too for believing my lying relatives. After they got out, I heard that they were asking many of our relatives to let them stay, but they refused as they heard what happened to us. My other relatives avoid incorporating themselves with them, afraid of what they can do, especially now that they're in need of money. Right now, I don't know where they're staying or what they're even up to, and I'm still hoping that they're safe, though. Anyways, that's it, guys. See you. Top comments from the final post. From Far Dependent Unicorn 8745 says, Hey, it's tough to hear that your relatives are now struggling. If that were you, would you wish that your relatives would do that to you? I think not. I know that it's important to protect your property rights, but I wonder if there was another way that could have helped them out, you know? So you can understand their mistake without leaving them in such a situation. You could have found a middle ground, I don't know, negotiated like an adult, and maybe even helped them stop. Sure, they were wrong, but did you have to go all evil on them? Your relatives are struggling, they're down on their luck, and you're celebrating. How heartless can you be? Absolutely the a-hole.